Okay, David, we're here in, at the Boyne uh, for the launch of Soldier Spies and Supplies, a new school's workbook published and produced by the Grand Orange Lodge of Ireland. Can you tell us more about it? Well, this book extracts information from the Paymaster General's book of 1691, which we have in our archives. And for the first time, we've extracted a lot of the information from the workbook, put it into a format that schools can use as part of the history lessons in, in class, and also other aspects as well are covered in terms of um, geography, literacy, uh, and other aspects of the curriculum too. So it's a fantastic resource. Uh, it's a very colourful workbook. It has been road tested by a few schools and some teachers for us. And it's a very important development in our outreach programme. And as part of that outreach, it'll obviously go into this into the classroom uh, and be used as part of the curriculum. Is that, is that, is that the idea? Yes, that's our aim, that it will be of use within the curriculum and that schools that engage with us, uh, they'll be able to um, have the museum outreach officer or the education officer visit and go through the workbook or they can have the workbook and go through it as part of their lessons, their teacher's notes and so on with it. So it's, it's a very important and very new development for the Grand Royal Lodge of Ireland to be engaged at, in this way, at this level now. But I think it's, it shows where we're at as an organisation and where the outreach programme is at. And it's based on the original Paymaster's book. Uh, can you tell us a wee bit more about that for the, those people that maybe may, may not understand or know what the actual book was? And what yeah, yeah. The, the Paymaster's General were Thomas Coningsby and Charles Fox. And they had the responsibility of ensuring that all the payments were made from uh, the, the, uh, to, to the Williamite Army and um, from the Treasury, I suppose, to all different aspects of the war effort that was going on at that time. So uh, lots of different things listed, hospital payments, uh, payments to regiments, to uh, officers, to spies even, and also uh, more general things as well in terms of uh, you know, work, repair work that's going on in buildings. Um, also indeed the King William's uh, birthday was celebrated by fireworks and that appears in the Paymaster's book too. So a lot of a wealth of information, 1450 names in total within the book, which is a fantastic genealogical resource in its own right, and then all the social uh, detail and all the military history that's attached to the information as well. So uh, a phenomenal book with a, a wealth of information, and we have extracted some of that. There's still a lot of information undoubtedly to be mined within that book uh, for the future. And the original book, it will well, go on public display in the, at the New Orange Interpretive Centre next year, isn't that right? Yes, under museum consi conditions, people will be able to come and see the original, and we hope to have um, online resource in relation to the book and we also hope to have um, audio visual aspects of it and, and allow people to uh, check the pages on the computer and so forth but they'll actually see the original in the display case as well so we'll be encouraging people to come along and see the real thing learn more about it and of course learn about it in the, in the wider context of what the, the museums are about uh, orange history from that period right through and just lastly it's very fitting isn't it that this new education initiative has been launched here at the Boyne 324 four years now after the actual battle itself yeah yeah I, I think it's there's no better location to launch this it's been a fantastic uh, site at which to launch the book uh, the, the history of it is very very clear all around us uh, all the things that happened here the landscape is very similar and this site is an important now centre, tourist centre and visitor centre and it's been a fantastic place to have the launch and we're delighted to have Actually, what sort of detail is in the Paymaster's book? Well, there's valuable information taken from the actual Paymaster General's book, um, as well as you know puzzle pages for kids and information on the recruitment of the troops for, for both the Williamite and Jacobite armies, and plenty more as well. And what sort of payments come to mind when you think about what's in the original book that we've taken into the, the workbook? Yeah, well, most interesting that I found was uh, sort of the quirky ones like the fireworks for William's birthday and even like food payments um, and another interesting one I liked was the changing of sides to so enemies coming over from the Jacobite army after the battle. Those were good. And a very appropriate place to launch the book today. Definitely yeah there's, I don't think there's a better place really it's that actually where it happened where where he could be sitting where we're standing writing all these accounts into the book.